hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing amazingly well if you're new to my channel welcome nice to meet you my name is abby and i make videos about fragrances to all my existing subscribers and friends thank you so much for coming back and showing me so much love it means the absolute world to me so today's video as you can see in the title is an updated version of my pen Halligan's fragrance collection i did one probably about six months ago but i constantly get messages and someone someone always messages me wanting to know about pen Halligan's and what fragrance they should get so i thought that i will come back and talk to you guys about it i will link that video up here so you guys can see i will also put it down in the description bar below and you can check that out so i'm not gonna go into too much depth in regards to the notes i'm just going to talk to you about how these fragrances makes me feel when you can wear it and every single fragrance on this list is amazing i can tell you that for a fact so i'm going to start with the alfetti trio so that would be alfetti and alfetti leather and we have the newest one alfetti cedar I have a video on all three fragrances, so if you want to know more about them, I'll link the video in my description box below. Our Fetty said that for me is my favorite. I find it really, really strong. It's like a leathery rum, slightly sweet, slightly, it's just quite, um, it has good sillage, it's long lasting, it's an amazing, amazing fragrance. I find that um, our Fetty Leather is the most masculine one of the three, however, I love it also but it's way too masculine for my personality so my husband wears this a lot more it smells amazing amazing and the original alfetti a lot of people i think prefer this one this is the original one for me i love it also but there's just something about alfetti cedar that does something to me and i just i love all three fragrances they are absolutely gorgeous absolutely long lasting and just great the next fragrance is let me see let me come at you with cairo 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 it is one of the most strongest unique sexy ultimate unisex fragrance like a man can wear it and get away with it a woman can wear it and absolutely fall in love with it it's a slightly warm and spicy scent with this nice vanilla dry down is just absolutely stunning this is fit for a prince or princess this is so exquisite it's it's for someone that is just if you just want to smell like money and importance cairo really does it very very well i think it's magical it's impressively versatile and i really 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 enjoy cairo next i'm gonna talk about it's either you call this bayoli or bayolia i don't know I'm, I, I, I prefer to call it Beolia. It just sounds, you know, it sounds better. Mm. This is a green fragrance. This is definitely like, imagine if you just cut the grass, that smell that you get, that very freshly cut grass scent mixed with like a citrusy um, kind of lemony scent. It remains really, really fresh. I usually reach for it in the summer because of the freshness and the very kind of airy vibe that it gives me. It's also unisex. It's absolutely perfect. It's stunning. It's rare. You don't, I've not seen anyone on YouTube talk about this fragrance. I don't know why. If you haven't checked Penhaligans out, you just have to. It's a really, there's such a strong and incredibly beautiful and british brand that has amazing values in regards to fragrances and in regards to class and elegance like you can't go wrong with a pen Halligan's fragrance but anyway let's move on to the next fragrance which is quakers this one is also quite fresh quite citrusy oh i love this one it's a delicate sweet and spicy slightly floral scent that is just absolutely stunning also really really good for a signature scent and it's also really good in the summer months it has jasmine it's got lily of the valley it's got lemon it's got lime it's just fresh fresh but it's not green like Beolia. it's more fresher and more i would say it's quite uplifting it's a clean scent with like a citrus woody floral notes 
yeah i really really like quickers sartorial this for me is one of the best fragrances for men hands down i would not wear this fragrance because it's just it doesn't have a feminine um vibe to it i like my girly feminine fragrances i would wear a unisex fragrance but when it's too masculine it's just not me and this is a masculine scent this is a scent for a gentleman this scent is warm also it's spicy it has like an aromatic vibe it's extremely long lasting when my husband wears this i i just get very giddy and very like I don't know it's just sexy as well for me i think this is for a mature man however i'm not talking mature like um like a grandfather mature i'm talking mature in sense of style mature in the sense of life experience someone that you can learn from a guy that has wisdom this is a fragrance for that guy this is for a reliable man that wears a rolex i just imagine a man in a sharp suit wearing a rolex and just wearing this perfume this perfume is hands down one of the best perfumes for a man if you're looking to buy a nice perfume for your man that it would look at you and just appreciate you get this and it's also blind buy worthy and signature scent worthy next is cornudia this fragrance is relatively new to my collection i absolutely enjoyed this perfume so much it's very very beautiful it's basically a white floral powdery vanilla scent with a little bit of a syrupy vibe very very tiny it's sweet it's long lasting you can't go wrong with this fragrance it's actually quite rare to find um i got this in the last sale and i've not seen it on their website ever since please find halligans please bring this back because a lot of people would really enjoy it I personally think it's more feminine, although I think a man can definitely pull this off. This was first launched in 1910, but obviously it's been um, revamped to be a bit more modern now. But I really, really appreciate this fragrance. I think it's more of like a winter, nighttime kind of scent. It's comforting and it kind of has this cherry sweetness to it as well with a vanilla based dry down. I really, really love Cornubia next is one of the best rose fragrances i've ever smelled in my entire life this is elizabeth on rose and this fragrance is absolutely gorgeous i sent a sample to my friend um frances and she said it reminded her of someone and she said princess diana and the moment she said that i i i felt it and i was just like i can definitely imagine princess diana wearing this fragrance is a fragrance for a woman with grace and elegance and this is this is a luxurious rose this is a different type of rose this is also i would say it's for a mature woman um again not in the sense of age but just life experience and someone who has so much someone that you'd respect and you look up to someone that is kind i know i'm going in with i don't know i'm just talking more about princess diana here but honestly i can't think of a more fitting person to this to use to describe what this smells like to me it's wonderfully unique and it's romantic and it's modern at the same time i think it's just absolutely stunning super long lasting i would say this would be best also in the summer but this you can wear this all around actually i take that back you can wear this all around it's just really versatile also can be a signature scent this fragrance means a lot to me i really really think it's stunning so this is the newest to my collection of penhaligon fragrances and this is the favorite the bow is beautiful it's velvet it's just absolutely gorgeous again i've not heard a lot of people talk about this perfume in the fragrance community this fragrance i can't stop wearing it it deserves an applause because it's that great this has like layers of florals and fruits it's like a powdery floral scent with like a touch of musk um 
this is very long lasting this is really really beautiful this is feminine um if a man wanted to wear it obviously you can but i would say that it really leans towards feminine woman 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 that's what i get with this fragrance um it's just beautiful it has so many layers this is definitely a, a good sig signature scent um in my opinion it's absolutely it's rare because nothing smells like this i don't have any fragrance in my collection that smells like this and that's one other thing that penhaligons does no fragrance smells similar you wouldn't think oh um cornubia smells a little bit like changing constants or they don't have similarities every single fragrance is actually different and quite distinctive in its own right and um yeah the favorite is just incredible blind by worthy too i can assure you so i'm uh i've got seven more fragrances to show you guys and the rest of the seven fragrances would be from penhaligon's portrait collection and the portrait collection is just genius it's based on a, a family and it talks about the different characters in the family um, i will link a video for you guys that penhaligon's created which talks about the characters and I think it's just absolutely genius. So this next one is Cousin Flora. I had a bit of makeup on it. So when I was wearing it, this fragrance is so stunning. And all the heads of the portrait collection are different. This to me looks like a bird. And this one is a green, fresh fragrance. It hits you with this green bitter note. I really, really like. And I'm not into green fragrances, guys. But the moment... It comes down within like 10 seconds it changes and you start to get this sweetness um, coming through it's fresh it's spicy it has a little bit of musk in it as well and the thing with most fresh fragrances because this is I would categorize this as fresh is that they don't have long lasting power but don't be fooled this one does this will last you at least seven to eight hours on your skin on your clothes for even longer it's absolutely gorgeous not blind by worthy because if you're not into green notes or kind of like i don't know why i get a tiny 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 bit of violet i don't know if it's got violet in it i doubt that it does but um it just has this violetty floral note to it but i really really like it but definitely get your nose on it before you actually purchase because it's quite strong it's quite different from what you perceive as what a um a fresh scent will smell like it's different but it's gorgeous next is cousin matthew that has a duck head and this packaging guys are very good quality the heads are actually quite heavy the fragrance is the fragrance bottle is really really well made this is quality and this fragrance to me smells obviously i'm gonna say it's amazing because i love it it's a citrus aromatic scent that is also a little bit green but the greenness is quite different it's more flowery green as opposed to like grass green it has this strong orange note to begin with and it also has like a juicy woody citrusy vibe going on i really enjoyed this one also long lasting has a little bit of sweetness in the dry down um the dry down for this i really really love more than i do the opening the opening isn't bad at all it's still really lovely but when it dries down it just makes me feel good it just smells delicious wonderfully amazing so this is cousin matthew and also to mention don't be fooled by the name don't think because this is cousin matthew it automatically is masculine because that's not the case most of penhaligon fragrances are actually designed to be unisex and this fragrance for me is perfectly unisex a lot of their fragrances are there are some that leans towards the feminine side which i have um, explained like the favorite is quite feminine in my opinion and elizabeth on rose is also quite feminine but the rest of the fragrances i think are perfectly um unisex the next one is zohan zohan i heard jeremy fragrance mentioned this perfume it made it sound like it's like a dirty like a sweaty really um 
I probably wouldn't want to buy it because the explanation seems like something that I don't really want to smell like but I get what he's saying in regards to the very strong like pungent in your face I get all of that and I think this also for me does lean towards a masculine side in the opening in the opening in the dry down I think it calms down and it ends up blossoming into this really beautiful scent this definitely has wood this is strong guys like this is very long lasting 10 to 12 hours is just absolutely stunning it does have this very animalic note um or animalic vibe as you say that it just gives you when you first spray it but I'll give this one time to to calm down but i definitely i'm not a big fan for myself like you guys know i like the sweet girly really nice vanilla jasmine kind of fragrances so this one is definitely the opposite so for me it's definitely more for someone who is really confident to pull off this scent if you're a lady and also the same thing if you're a guy but definitely for me this is more masculine than it is feminine it has vetiver it has oud it's got labdenum as well it's quite long lasting and the end of this one i think this is an eagle i believe this is an eagle and it's stunning really pungent in your face fragrance so if that's what you like you can definitely you would definitely enjoy this fragrance ah this next fragrance guys is men's but it can be women's and this is mr harrod this is exclusive to harrods here in the uk and this one is slightly heavier than the rest of them um mm -mm. the um cap on this one is a bear how nice is that the quality guys is just crazy um this one is very special when my husband puts this on i go i go crazy i'm just like stuck to him like glue <laughs> oh gosh this is this is great this is really really great this is really special this is a spicy tobacco oud fragrance but this is where I think the, I think ladies can actually enjoy this because it has jasmine in it and I love jasmine you guys already know I'm a jasmine lover if a fragrance has jasmine I would be sold on it I would confidently blind buy a jasmine fragrance it has this plum it has this cinnamon mm, this is a very well blended fragrance this is composed for a sophisticated man for a very confident man i love it absolutely love it right so this is mr harrod you can only get it from harrods and it's amazing so the next one is terrible teddy teddy is not terrible i can assure you teddy is sexy teddy is stunning teddy is amazing oh my god when teddy dries down teddy is fantastic when you first spray teddy you're gonna love teddy teddy is for for me i think teddy is for a guy that's a player you know a guy that's not good for you but you just want to still go there because they are a bad boy and some girls a lot of girls that i know anyway love the bad boy persona and this is what a bad boy would wear it's a guy with that smoldering look that look that just has you all weak in the knees this is what that guy is wearing it has this smokiness to it the longevity is just out of this world this is blind by worthy this for me is just stunning there's a lot of fragrances for men that has very similar dna's like you have the aventas you have the sauvage all those fragrances to me are mediocre compared to this yes i said it they are mediocre compared to terrible teddy and he has a rhino head like he's just giving you all sorts of macho masculinity and i wouldn't wear this um but i would love to smell it on my man um but yeah if you wanted to wear it as a lady 
i will probably add something like vanilla to it to kind of tone it down if you want it toned down but if you don't want it toned down and you want this the spicy sexy aromatic warm beautiful fragrance you can definitely wear terrible teddy oh yeah it also has incense it's got a ambroxan and leather mm. next is the duke this is a spicy mm. guys look at the way this sprays though look it's just amazing this is marketed towards men but i find it a little bit floral so i think women can definitely wear it i wear it and i don't really get the masculinity of it so much so i definitely think that it can be worn by both sex it's a peppery rose gin kind of fragrance i get a little bit of that gin and tonic vibe but very very slightly it's quite spicy it's also woody i think it's rose well blended that i just think it makes it stand out from the crowd it makes it stand out from the rest because i imagine rose with leather what do you think you're going to get what do you imagine that would smell like this is what it smells like and it's absolutely gorgeous forgot to mention again that this is the the head is a dog and dogs are lovable and this fragrance is definitely really lovable and the duke so the last fragrance on the list and my favorite for men is lord george lord george is for a noble man with elegance and grace this is a unique fragrance at its finest i am absolutely in love with this this for me is so fantastic i'm gonna spray this on myself it kind of has like a soapy vibe when you first spray it mm. it's definitely sweet it's described as an oriental fragrance for men it's got brandy it's got woodsy notes um, I believe it has like a shaving soapy note to it. Tonka bean and amber. And I've not seen a combination of notes such as this. And this is definitely, for me, it's really, really masculine. I wouldn't wear this fragrance because it's just for me, it's quite masculine. It smells really nice on a man. It smells really stunning. It's just very 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 elegant this is a perfume that i can imagine someone like prince william wearing um i can imagine actually i can imagine prince harry who is my favorite um prince harry wearing whoop. i can imagine prince harry wearing terrible teddy i don't know why it just has this sex appeal this this just a bad boy appeal so definitely this this right here this is prince harry and this is prince william and that's just that's just my my take on it um if you don't know prince william and harry they are the sons of princess diana so um lord george for me is someone that is powerful and strong also witty and someone that has like a sweet base to them like deep down in their heart in their soul they're quite sweet and soft so that's what i get from lord george so that's it for this video guys i really really enjoy talking about pen Halligans as a brand i love talking about their fragrances and you guys already know my favorite fragrance from pen Halligans is changing constants i also love bewitching yasmin and i also love clara those fragrances were mentioned in my previous video that i already said i'll link below so yeah thank you so much guys for watching i really want to grow my channel so help me help me help me by subscribing make sure you click the notification bell so that you're notified when i upload and again Thank you for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye guys.